Hey guys, welcome to the second set of Peking University versus University of Stockholm. I have seen this game once simply because I had processing issues on it. Uh, doing it again. 10.30 position, we have Rumelia as the Orange Zerg. At the 3 o'clock position, we have Scooby-Doo as the Purple Terran. This is the second set of the Cotter Cup. Royal University of Stockholm, Sweden. I'm sorry, Royal University of Technology in Stockholm, Sweden, being represented by Scooby Doo. 10:30 position, Rumilia is representing Peking University, all the way out in Beijing, China. And it is awesome that we've been getting this going. Hope you guys enjoy this commentary. It is going to be on Neo Medusa, which tends to provide exciting matches. Terran versus Zerg. I think it favors Zerg a little bit because this uh, second choke is pretty wide, difficult to isolate off. Uh, and here you need just a lot of. Um, supply depots, a lot of barracks, and I keep brain farting on this. You can do a perfect blockade here, but you need to have the barracks um, on the front, and I believe, depending on how you place it, the Marine ends up spawning on the outside, which kind of sucks. Um, but otherwise, you, because, uh, yeah, I think they spawn the bottom left-hand corner. I tend not to play Terran, so it tends to be, as far as, like, me talking about Terran, I feel like I, I'm always just like, oh, yeah, this is the way it works, just on the perspective of the other two races at times. But uh, with this, I don't think he's ever going to be able to get a perfect seal, because even to, the two supply depots will create a, create a block lane, but a barracks to the north will not create a block lane. Zerglings will be able to slip through. Um, so he might want to produce a couple extra marines or a bunker to provide some additional defense. Looks like he is going to go for that secondary, though. Opposite end, we have a 12 hatch build from Romilia. And uh, other features of the map, first of all, you do have a little bit of buildable space in the middle. I don't think we're going to see a proxy hatchery uh, in this game. Um, but you do have this stacked temple, and that tends to be another feature. 14 to 12 tax, uh, stacked, tacked, stacked temples, siege tanks, and lurkers can really knock them down fairly quickly. You need something with splash damage to do it, so it hits all of the temples at once rather than individually, because single marines, uh, single groupings of zerglings, it just takes forever to knock those temples down. You have a mineral only is, uh, above the base, pretty wide drop areas, so drop ships and uh, overlord drops can be very powerful. And honestly, almost every single game that's been non-professional that I've seen, uh, lurkers have come into play, specifically in this area where the SCVs hang out. We'll see if the supply depot goes down up there. That would actually be a pretty wise decision, because that gives those lurkers something else to attack, um, forces them to kind of micro to attack um, the command center, the supply lines, things like that. Um, so anyway, looks like that drone scout going to come up, going to attack that SCV a little bit, but should be able to slip through. Otherwise, yeah, it's going to go right through that gap um, and... <laughs> Hit two SCVs, kind of aggravate them. Already a little bit low on health, but at the very least, he's going to be able to spot the base, critically see that there is no gasping place from Scooby Doo, so he knows he's not going up against a quick tech or mech build. Spawning pool rather than three hatch before spawning pool uh, on the opposite end. Scooby Doo is now getting his scout in. Looks like into that right hand corner, I'll take map reveal off since I don't really need to show you features of the map at this stage now. Uh, and a bunker, yeah, being placed, and this drone is lost. So as long as a single marine goes into this bunker and another marine chases it down, it should uh, end up getting killed inside the base. And uh, poor, poor drone. Looks like a third hatchery going up at the mineral only, Romilia going a little bit more tech savvy. Uh, and yeah. Just uh, first gas placed, SCV seeing it all, and four zerglings, uh, two zerglings being produced to try to probably just take that scout down rather than put pressure on the front door. And two marines coming out of the bunker. I don't like that decision making, just because uh, as a result, this drone is going to be able to escape with its life. Damaged, red damaged, which hurts, but uh, scarred, still efficient, still effective nonetheless. Um, coming back home triumphant, and the marines wandering out a little too far. Uh, there are four zerglings now chasing that SCV scout, fortunately, rather than going after those marines. But if they kill this SCV scout, turn around, go after the marines, the marines could be in a bit of trouble. And Overlord, look out! Uh, you are too close to those marines. The marines could run right underneath and take you out as well. Fortunately, it does not look like they see you. Uh, and that Overlord is going to back out to the safety of that map artifact, fortunately for Romilia. Um, it looks like the Zergling uh, has... which one is it? That, uh, no, that. Usually I'm really good about that. Third Zergling in the line looks like it got the kill. Usually I've got like uh, the blessings from on high as far as selecting the unit that got the kill initially. Uh, but not that that really affects commentaries all that much. Overlord taking a few hits. The Marines are going to run back to their protective cove. And it looks like there is a bunker that's been placed there. And now, uh, switch to more of an economy-based build. There's the academy, and there's the gas, actually, alongside. So it might see um, higher tech before second barracks, um, both academy and the gas down, which uh, works pretty well when you have a front door blockade. Um, but I, I prefer to have a scout alive in the mid-game, just in case there are a lot of zerglings. Although with the front door, it's a little easier to hold. Uh, beautiful timing there. It's layer about halfway finished. We're seeing the hydro stand. It looks like we are going to see three hatch lurkers uh, into the mid-game at least. And again, yeah, I really feel like zerg favor lurkers on this map for various reasons or additional marines being produced. And this is actually critical. The marines have to continuously be pumped out of this barracks 
for uh, I, I feel like for Terran to be successful, going lighter on the uh, or going gas barracks first, and it looks like a factory being placed down. I think we're going to see a transition into some SK Terran here a little bit. Probably see a starport, a science facility, just some early detection. So that and that should pretty well neutralize that that um, lurker attack. Looks like a couple additional drones being pumped from Romilia and putting that that sun colony on the front door. A couple zerglings just hanging out, just spotting an eye out, and there's that first medic. Uh, as well, so in a commsat station alongside should also help you know, get a good look at the tech that he's going up against. Let's see if he expends, uh, if Scooby Doo expends a commsat. Hasn't put a second commsat station down. There's the commsat, and let me get a quick look at where that was. Uh, looks like it was at the main, so he's going to see that hydralis. Ooh, go and drop. Uh, interestingly enough, so he's going to see that lurker tech coming on the way. Should have. Oops. Let's actually view the map. There we go. Um, so he should, he's going for a little something sneaky here. And I, I assume that's going to be a slow drop with this overlord coming into play right over that ridge. Uh, and there's that machine shop going down. So I assume we're going to see some siege tech. So probably going to go siege up on that front. Uh, I think he's assuming that these lurkers for for defense rather than offense, which is unfortunate. Um, and I don't like this. But I, I, tanks against lurkers actually work out pretty well. There's an engineering bay being placed uh, right at the moment. He's going to need some pretty good detection coverage. But um, I, I still don't like the early door pressure with just a single tank because the the zerg can just produce a ton of units wipe out your attack force and then you're left very vulnerable looks like a <laughs> single scv knowing that this lurk is on the field very intelligently going to wander around probably post up near that temple wall maybe it'd be wise to put a turret up there uh and a pretty good attack force i'm surprised he's not moving out now actually and the tank just now produced let's see if he uh and also idle barracks very bad situation two sunken colonies up on the front looks like a couple hydros being produced um, drop almost finished it looks like lurker tech is finished four lurkers being morphed up so we are going to see that clever attack looks like that at least on that temple wall it's going to be secure maybe this scv will be able to wander back around no engine no turret down first and that was really what i was hoping to see because that turret could provide both detection um, and basically spot there and it looks like we're really going to take that nine o'clock location while doing the slow drop uh, so single overlord here. Let's see. It looks like these. I assume that these lurkers are going to head out to that location now. And this is going to be close. Will this SCV hang out and spot? It doesn't see the overlord. Doesn't look like it's going to spot out that location. Uh, two tanks though, and some decent forces. Looks like that barracks uh, was lifted up in the meantime, and not very good turret coverage otherwise. Armor one being upgraded to counter that lurker tech, and it looks like he's going to go for his mineral only. But no detection to speak of, and he keeps expending comsats, which is going to hurt. Here's that slow lurker drop, uh, and it looks like a couple a lurker and some distraction lings hitting near that bunker there's nothing in that bunker to really attack um, a single marine is spotting that out but that's going to provide ample distraction for these overlords to be dropped over this ridge completely in the dark they're going to get uh, let's see if there's a spot over and it looks like a single marine was headed up to that bunker he's going to it's not enough to deal oh, a couple fire bats as well it's not enough oh and they're going to get taken out along the way maybe it looks like they do escape with their lives that siege tank uh, is going to be damaged but should no it's turning around Bad news. Um, so it's going to get taken out as well. And now uh, there's no supply depot up here, so Scooby Doo going to have to evacuate his main. Hurts him economically here. And this temple wall is going to be up opened up. And this is the nice thing you can you can do against a Terran player is if he hasn't gone for a science vessel early you can just abuse that by planting lurkers absolutely everywhere in his base forcing him to either expend commsats at multiple locations or uh, forcing him to uh, otherwise yeah just expend detection or just build way too many turrets so commsat going off nice lift off not enough siege tanks you don't want to do that if you're a Terran in this situation is commsat when you don't know if you're going to get a kill or not. You want a commsat when you have lots of units flooding in and you're sure to get a kill. Otherwise, it's just a waste of a commsat. Uh, Lurker's knocking down that temple wall and there's still nothing in that bunker, so those zerglings should be able to flood through. Um, still hitting that front door, and this is disastrous for Scooby-Doo. It looks like he's going to end up um, in red supply, so the worst of all situations here, and that bunker uh, looks like, oh, he's at least holding a little bit, but that bunker not going to last very long. Trying to get a turret to at least hold the front. 66 out of 44. Romilia has managed to take the 9 o'clock position in, in a firm commanding lead putting down some extra hatcheries got the evolution chamber up getting that spines upgrade um and just yeah absolutely destroying things every which way again not a very good ex uh, <clears throat> expansion of comsat there expansion not a very good way to use your comsat when you're not sure that you're going to get a kill when you're shooting up into the misfire only a single siege tank uh and finally it looks like a control tower being placed a couple more lurkers being dropped ooh and uh over very vulnerable areas where again there's no detection so it looks like actually they're going to be ushered out but they can still drop up above 
Um, the temple wall is up, so a little bit unnecessary. There's speed up uh, upgrade though, and a science facility being placed to finally maybe get oh, another marine dying there to maybe get some comsat. Uh, oh, this is the worst possible situation. SCVs being it looks like there was an attack. You can see the little orange dot here at the natural expansion. A couple lurkers being placed down here to disrupt. Uh, <laughs> wow, nice. Uh, able to escape as well, disrupting the supply at the secondary, um, and then dropping right back to the main. So a bunch of SCV kills, and I think that's about 30 SCV kills between all these lurkers. scooby doo still in red supply. This lurker attack has been absolutely beautiful for Mumilia. He has the entire base covered in lurkers. Finally going to lose these two, but he's going to be able to stop the gas at the secondary, which is going to make that science vessel even later. He stopped gas at the, uh, uh, sorry, at the main, now at the secondary as well, and lurkers continuing to flood in, knowing that there's absolutely no detection, and he has more lurkers than there are tanks or medics or marines out on the field. Science vessel is being produced. Looks like some certainly just sitting there if they went in, and uh, the lurkers just going to wander right in, uh, right next to the siege tanks and these siege tanks going to get taken out as well um, he might end up losing that academy but this is a disastrous uh, situation for Scooby-Doo I'm surprised he hasn't GG'd yet um, Romelia keeping up his economy I gotta, I gotta commend his fighting spirit though Flood of Zerglings wandering in. Looks like they're finally going to go up into the Temple Wall. That mineral only being taken out. Uh, command Center burning up above. A science vessel uh, being produced. And it's only a single grouping of Medic Marines. It looks like a bunker with four Marines in it. A couple SCVs and a single tank at that natural secondary to try to defend all of this. Uh, and that's uh, not a very... It's a bad situation. A couple lurkers are at least being cleaned up here. Um, but that academy is going to be lost. That means no more medics for a period of time. Um, I, I think that factory might be next. There is a science vessel out, so let's see if he can save it in time. Uh, now sieging up going to be able to take that lurker out before it's able to really do any more damage. But still three lurkers into this backfield. Uh, and l that's, uh, yeah, still kind of breaching the base. Some zerglings up above as well. Um, and still some units kind of out in the front door. Third base is producing. Uh, looks like it does. Oh, lurker tech. Uh, I'm sorry, hive tech is up. Defiler mounds down. <laughs> I guess I should... Some people have complained about the consistency of the up versus down analogy. But whatever. I will stick with it, and oh, this command center is probably going. Let's see if it manages to sneak out in time, but it's only got 10 hit points left. It's probably going to burn. Uh, no, no SCV even nearby. There, it's crashing. That's devastating. Uh, Any time you lose a command center as a Terran player, it's devastating, particularly against Zerg. Uh, lurkers, a couple getting taken out, but still able to clean up the medic marines. And this is going to be all of Scooby Doo's tech. And honestly, this game is. Uh, it's been lost for a while, but the game's definitely lost now. Um, Rumilia is going to have hive tech. He's going to have all sorts of units to fight against this. Just two mer two medics trying to heal each other next, next to the tank. Uh, Zerglings flooding in now, uh, and just all sorts of troops. It's just a clog of troops inundated. Uh, this is almost like, I don't know, I don't have a really good analogy for this, honestly. There's GG from Scooby-Doo. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Second set going to Peking University. Thanks for listening.